Tracker Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to use the buffered reader and input stream reader with Java. Uh, I'm going to be doing some exception handling, so if you enter something wrong into the CMD, it will throw an exception. So let's get started. First, we are going to start by importing uh, some of the classes associated with input stream reader and buffered reader. So that's our buffered reader class there. Import Java IO input stream reader. And we could just do an import java.io star and import everything. But I think it's important that I just import the classes that I need so we don't utilize a bunch of memory importing all those classes. So public class buffers, because that's the name that I declared my thing. And we're going to enter everything in this main class here. First off, I'm going to actually be making a final integer. And it's going to, it, oh, we're making a GPA um, calculator. So periods equals 6. So this will be the amount of periods that we're going to calculate, calculate the GPA from. And we're going to make this public static void main string args. And first we're going to start by creating a buffered reader object buffered reader in equals new buffered reader and we're going to be making a new object for the input stream reader keep on getting that upper case e there I'm not sure why system.in and we're going to close that off with a semicolon and we're going to declare int x equals 0, uh, g equals 1. Uh, really the, the, whole purpose, the whole purpose of this tutorial is to teach you guys how to use an input stream reader. It's, I would agree, a more elegant way than just using a uh, J option pane enter kind of thing. Um, it allows you to enter information directly into command line. Uh, sometimes your computer doesn't have J option pane so you just need a real hardcore input so alright so calcu calculate I think that's how you spell it yeah your GPA get some formatting use the new line character here and we're going to just make the uh, users give them a scale here so A equals 4 B equals let's actually make it uniformal here 3 uh, C equals 2, D equals 1, and F equals 0. Okay. So now we're going to make a while loop here so that if somebody enters something wrong, that they get another chance to enter it. Periods. And that's that uh, final int I made up here. Um, so inside the periods loop here. I'm going to be using a try statement, and I think I'm just going to put the catches down here uh, before we actually get into the code. So catch IO exception, exception e system dot out dot print line, and then we're going to print out problem reading. I'm just going to copy and paste this, and we're going to catch um, a number format exception. So we're going to be trying to format the input into an integer so that we can actually do some calculations on it. Otherwise, you can't do calculations on strings. So we're going to need to catch an error if the calculation, if it was trying to calculate like a, a letter, it's going to throw a number format exception saying you can't calculate a letter. So we're going to just put that's not a number. And the cool thing about this is that um, if it's not a number, G won't increment, and then we'll go back through the for loop, giving the user another chance to put that grade in for that period. So let's actually get inside here. System.out.println. And we're going to prompt the user for the period that they're currently entering. 
so we're going to make a g as the uh, it's going to be the incrementer. So g is g is really going to be the period that they're entering it. So it's going to go by period, and we set it to period one because we don't have a period zero. All right. So now we're going to be doing one line, and we're going to do in. We're going to use that buffered reader object that we made. We're going to do read line. That's pretty much the only implementation of the buffered reader object that we're going to be using for this tutorial. And probably pretty much um, just my whole programming career, I've only used that read line uh, thing. Except I don't really work with uh, Java a lot. Alright, so we're going to parse the int from the one line. And remember, the user's just going to enter either a 4 or 3, 2, 1, so we don't have to worry about parsing out. Um, let letters from the numbers unless you want to make it more complicated there's always something something else that could be done and I'm making this TMP temporary X variable so that when the user's prompt error is confirmed that their uh, thing was added that we can add the actual what they entered not the the plus x, and you'll, and you'll see that this x is for calculating the GPA in the end, but this temp x is just the current, the current um, scope of what they just entered. You'll be able to see it in just a second. Period g. <coughs> oh, we got the concatenation wrong here. There we go. So you're going to see that uh, temp x, and it just enters that enters is the temp x, which is an int. Uh, we're going to increment the temp x by the x. So if I have, if I first entered 4 as an a, then my temp x will be 4. And say I entered a 4, I mean a 3 as a b before, my temp x will still be 3, but it will be 7. 4 plus 3, 7 as an x. And that's for calculating our final GPA. And then our period here is going to be incremented underneath here. And that's going to be changed every single time that this is true. So if an exception is thrown from one line or from this parse int, it will be catched down here and this g won't execute. So that's a good way to catch all that. Uh, once everything's processed with the uh, user entering it, we're going to be printing out some confirmation stuff. Uh, this one right here is actually going to be calculating the GPA. So your GPA is. And then since we're going to be doing math inside a print line statement, we're going to have to put uh, parentheses around our math, or else it's going to try to turn this into a string. We don't want that to happen. We want it to, enter, to first calculate it and then turn it into a string. So print line. And then I'm going to try to copy what is up there so it looks uniform. I think that looks good. Actually, my notes say that I have one more in there. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, so let's Control S that. Bring this up a bit. <coughs> Pardon me. First, build it. Make sure that if you're using jQuery, it's set as an active project. And it looks like we're having a problem. Oh, I forgot the A in input stream. Input stream. A. Save, build file. That's how. That's why you always want to build your file. And let's do this run here. Run file. All right. So I'm first prompted to calculate my GPA. Oh, I first see an error here. Uh, it's just print. So we don't get that. You see how when I want to enter, it's down there. So let's rebuild this. Let's uh, stop tool and run the file again. All right, there we go. So period one, we're going to be entering four. Period three, maybe like a three, four, 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 three, and it says my GPA is three point six. Uh, so this is something that can be changed to enter like a weighted grade. So you could have uh, a equals. I think it's. I think it's one point. I think it might be point three. Point three is for like an A plus, A minus kind of stuff. 
but maybe you can make A like 5. Yeah, A is 5 if, if it's weighted. So it can get a lot more detail, but the whole point of this tutorial is to be using the buffered reader. So as you can see, the buffered reader just allows you to enter your data directly into your um, CMD, or in this case, I'm, I'm using jCreator. Uh, but when you get into like CMD through Windows, and you're using the arguments uh, passed through this main here, you can just use uh, input stream readers, and it's a lot more elegant way of coding. Anyways, thank you for watching the entire tutorials. Please subscribe. Please go to my website, tutorials.com and find more Java tutorials, gaming tutorials, and website tutorials. Thank you. Bye.